She's finished with black high, black high lacquer. So it's a very traditional way of finishing Asian furniture. I wanted her to be black in the front because whoever the queen was going to be was going to be the piece of art on her and that's the one that should be standing out. Then I said, well, I still want some color on her. So on the back, I used a silk fabric with yellow lotuses. And my Chinese name is Huang Dalian, and it means yellow blossoming lotus flower. So how close can it be to who I really am? I'm trying to use this piece of art that I've created so that I can show everyone that's here and hopefully more in Montreal and in North America that we all deserve a queen's chair. And it doesn't mean it has to be something as elaborate as this one. So I took a chair that my parents, my, it's been in my family for three generations, and I decided, well, I'll fix her up this time and add my touch. The way I create your chair, your own queen's chair, can be with a piece that you already have at home or something that you want me to find. And then we choose something from my 21 collections that I have on the other side. And that's how we can assemble your own queen's chair. And remember, when you get one of these, it's because you feel you deserve it. So don't come to me if you don't think you deserve it. The poofs are going to be a regular collection. The queen's chairs are all one of a kind, but the poofs will be a regular collection. And as of yesterday evening, um, I did develop an online um, e-commerce site that is now um, been redirected now to my site thanks to Omnivision Design. So my website developer is here, his name is Andrea. So you should take a look at the site. I asked him to do a lot of work, he's really patient, thank you. <laughs> but I wanted something that no one had and if you know how my family knows me, I always want something no one has. And with the poofs, they'll become the regular collection. And I've already started the sale already before the launch. Um, they start, no, they're all at 1888, so that's 1888. And they're sold as pieces of art. Yes, it's a piece of furniture. Yes, you can use it and sit on it. But they all come adorned with uh, charm chains. The charm chains are uh, assembled for me by Corianne from. Orange Cheek Creations, and she is really talented when it comes to doing more artisanal work with flowers. So if you notice them, they all have um, recycled leather hibiscus flowers. Hibiscus flowers, yes, we have more than one. Um, and it's to represent the tropical side of me. I have the Larimar Stone, which is exclusive to the Dominican Republic, and I do have jade as well too, so that's to represent the Asian side. The Larima, believe it or not, is about four times more expensive than the jade. But I have them all made for me directly from the museum in Dominican. And the dragonfly has a black Swarovski on her head. So all the charm chains are would come with your poofs, with a queen's chair, or with drapes. Those are the only way you can get one of these. I don't sell them on their own. And yes, it is wearable art. So you can take it from your furniture and you can place it on yourself and you can walk with your piece of art. The idea is that we shouldn't limit art to just painting on canvas. Art is really all around us. And whether it's with Dahlia with her sound healing music, fantastic, I take her card, or it could be just the artistic process of how food is presented by Chef Athena which did the, the fine Persian cuisine for tonight. I hope you're enjoying it. It's, it's always fantastic what she does. Or it can be just art in everything that you see in, in everyday life. Now, I did take something a little extreme, like a queen's chair or what I call boudoir therapy. But sometimes someone has to put the message to an extreme uh, vision to uh, allow people to understand that we need to get there. We need to find a way where we can all respect each other, where we can work together. Because I can't do this all alone. All these creations, they're all with help. And that's another lesson that I've learned with time is that I need to ask for help. And I'm okay with that now. <laughs>
Um, if you've noticed, there's a catalog on the uh, on the end with my 21 collections. There's upcoming products that I've already started to develop. One of those from the Garden Collection, and they're called Rain Chains. They're full copper rain chains, and I have three different models. So there's the spheres, there's the diamond, and there's the teardrops. And they all come with the lotus flower at the end, um, and we can get them at any length. And I put a bird bath because it's kind of nice if you have water trickling down. Now for those who don't know what a rain chain is, it's very popular in the tropics and even in Asia. Again, I tied something that's really directly to my background and culture and found one product. You hang these in the front of your home as opposed to having just your white gutter. You hang these in the front and you watch the rain trickle and make music as it comes down. So much prettier, isn't it? And it shines. <laughs> so I like that. Um, they are already tagged as well too, so they do have my logo on the interior of them. Um, the the furniture has my charm chain, which I also is also tagged with um, my uh, my logo as well. It's a piece of jewelry. Um, I do have the canvases. It's either a signature or there's my stamp on them. But I really want to emphasize more on the uh, interior design of spaces today and the, the lack of appreciation that we have for those intimate spaces that we do have, that we do own. So let me just make sure I didn't miss something else. <laughs> um, I have a little gift for everyone but it's in production and it should be available for the holidays. So it's really important that you give Larissa at the front um, your mailing address. And one of those gifts is I've learned that journaling, it was very therapeutic for me. I'm on my eighth journal, journal now and it's all been on the development of myself or my products and my career. What I will be sending you in the mail in, by the holidays is a journal. And it'll be, it's my first published journal. It's gonna be called My Self-Deserving Journal. It's a journal where you're, you allow yourself to jot down things that you want without feeling any guilt. And so I hope that that journal gives you also some healing or some therapy or whatever it does to you that it did to me, or at least a little part. I have um, the gift that's at the end when you leave. It's my signature scent. So I've been developing a scent. You can put it in your uh, lingerie drawer because it's something of a sexy smell, so to go with the boudoir. Um, or you can put it in your car as well too, so in very small spaces. <laughs> <laughs> That's not my problem. <laughs> if you are interested in making any purchases today, just for the event tonight, there's no taxes. Um, I wanted to thank uh, my three girls. They're my, my, my little queens. It's Jenna, 